John Williams and Iris Tan again for the Institute of Sports and Spines. Today we're doing a demonstration of some femoral nerve flossing or neurodynamic mobilisation exercises. So the femoral nerve is a spinal nerve that comes out of the lumbar spine, predominantly L3, and gives sensory distribution or supply to the front of the thigh. So when we're stretching the femoral nerve, essentially we take the knee into a flex position and we point the toes down. This will give us about as much stretch as we can get out of the lower limb. And if you look at Iris's head and neck, if she lifts the head up off the couch and tucks the chin into the chest, we'll further increase the stretch. Back down. So, when you're testing someone's femoral nerve, you start with the knee straight, and you let the knee slowly go into a flex position. If this causes an increase in symptoms in the thigh, it could indicate a femoral nerve stretch or irritation. So when we do this as a flossing exercise, we can vary the components of toe pointing, knee flexion, and lifting the head up off the pillow quite strongly to increase pressure on the nerve. So as a floss, we may get Iris to drop her head as we pull the toes up and straighten the leg. And then we bend the knee again, pull the toes down, lift the head up. So this would be stretching the nerve. Now, if she relaxes the head again, if I get her to lift the head as I straighten the leg, she is tensioning one end while I'm releasing the other. So if she drops the head down, we pull the toes and foot down. So you just take it to the point of tension, you don't take it into severe amounts of pain and irritation. So as we go backwards and forwards as a home exercise, Iris can lift the head and then at the same time straighten the leg and then she can lower the head and pull the leg back. So she can slowly floss that backwards and forwards. So she's currently demonstrating stretching and if she lowers the head down and then she lowers the leg and lifts the head. That would be an aggressive way to work on the nerve. If we want to make it a little kinder, she could stretch the nerve and as she lifts the head and straightens the leg and then goes back the other way, this would be flossing the nerve. So we're pulling it forward and backwards over that point of tension. This is an exercise you could do for 10 reps at home, at most once an hour, but generally three or four times a day would be applicable. That concludes our demonstration of femoral nerve neurodynamic mobilisation exercises.